Welcome back everybody. This is part four of the third developer Let's Play video for At The Gates. Uh, at this point, we kind of have things rolling pretty well. Uh, we have a plan, um, we have some professions and stuff, uh, we have some uh, clans out working for us. So at this point, hopefully we can kind of run through things uh, pretty quickly. Uh, kind of explained a lot of the big new features already, so uh, let's see how far we can get in here. All right, so we have a wood collector here who we wanted to collect some wood, and we can show off the forge safely command here. Uh, and, and by that I mean he will just automatically uh, sit there and uh, make sure he doesn't take damage while he forages, so we don't really even need to worry about it so much. Uh, surveyor made it to the mineral. We should probably encamp, otherwise we're going to take damage. Uh, and our scout, we want to keep moving this way. So I usually like to move one tile at a time because it's a little bit safer. And hills are also good because you can see a little bit further. Um, same is kind of true of uh, water as well. So you can see a little bit further that way. Um, I think that's it for this turn. Okay, so it looks like we've met another leader. We're just, we're in the middle of everything here. Hi, hi Samo. Uh, looks like Samo isn't uh, out for blood at least, uh, which is a nice change from uh, some of these other folks that we've met. Uh, on the first turn that you meet a leader, sometimes they have things that they want to talk about. Uh, like if you're right next to somebody like Attila, he's going to tell you to you know, stay on your side of the line, but uh, Samo's probably a little bit further away and uh, not as threatened by us, so it's kind of an optional greeting message. Uh, something I'd played around with before was having uh, having there be something that would happen uh, when you first met somebody every time. Uh, I was even thinking about a little mini game where uh, you could bring a gift of some kind and the other leader could bring a gift of some kind or you could not do it at all and then based on what you did that would kind of shape the diplomatic relationship but it was almost you know it was just kind of like a guessing game there wasn't really a ton of strategy to it um, so I decided to cut that and uh, focus on things that actually make sense like the territorial control we'll also be adding other things like uh, if you have resources here like we have resources between us and Clovis uh, he might say hey you know stay away from those resources uh, you can do whatever else you want, just don't mess with those, and you can agree to do it or not. Uh, back to what we were doing. Let's see, so it's early February, which means it's going to get warm soon, but not quite yet, I don't think. Uh, and sometimes with a surveyor, I like to start uh, identifying a deposit a little bit early uh, in the winter in hopes of not... Uh, you know, getting a head start basically because you have that one turn grace period. So if you can guess when the weather's going to get nice a turn early, you get a free turn. But I don't think we're quite there. Plus we're on a hill, so it's eh. Don't want to risk it. Not with our uh, vigorous clan. All right, our scout Alrim, he is needing to encamp as well. All right, so we can now train somebody, and we're not studying. So it's kind of a uh, a new turn or. Uh, kind of a new phase, I guess, uh, for the game. We have to kind of decide what direction we want to go now. So we could use a bard to uh, increase the rate at which new clans will show up, increase the amount of fame. You can see on this button here uh, at the bottom, it says seven turns. Uh, that's the number of turns until a new clan shows up. And it slows down as the game goes on, so you need to be producing more fame to reach out and, and get the word out about what you're up to. Uh, so a bard will help us do that, but bard requires alcohol, which we do not have yet. So that is not uh, particularly helpful at the moment. So we have a blacksmith already. Our iron mine will be ready in one turn. So let's see, I think we were, we were talking about doing a winemaker, but we don't have enough tools for that. So it's kind of a tough uh, situation at the moment. We're kind of ahead in some areas and behind in others. Uh, we could always buy some tools. Uh, I think I think I'm going to get started on our bard here because we can buy a little bit of alcohol, get him started, uh, and then uh, produce the uh, alcohol we need 
later, but that way we'll get it started and we can start bringing in some more people a little bit more quickly. All right, we have to decide what we want to study now because we've uh, just finished what we were working on. I forget, what were we working on? It's kind of handy. Oh, okay, so we just did finish Bards, all right. Let's see. So there's obviously a lot of options here. Uh, question is, what is the best for our present situation? Uh, I think it might be a good idea to start getting towards archers. Uh, because we are so close to so many other players, it's kind of a dangerous situation. So I think that probably makes some sense. Queue up the archers as well. And we can always uh, change directions here if we need to, but I think that's probably good for now. Okay, so now it's starting to get warmer again. Uh, you can tell by the, the receding snow. Clans are idle. Alright, this may be the point now where we want to uh, get a head start on our... Uh, identifying the deposit. It's hard. It's hard to say. Ugh, I don't really want to risk it. I'm gonna. Eh, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. All right. Keep moving along here. You can sneak around these mountains. Okay. We can give a clan some levels in honor. We already have a couple guys in honor already. Wow, Frieder is five. So we've gotten a couple uh, level fives in this game, which is kind of nice. Um, I think I'll give Eberhardt the bonus. So they're both now pretty high level. We can train them in a uh, honor profession in one turn. Uh, all the all the early ones like Archer, we can we can pull that off right away. Normally it takes at least a couple turns. Oh shoot. Okay, so still red here as you can see so the red that means we're gonna take damage um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna encamp instead okay question is we're kind of in a similar situation now over here as well uh, I can do this at least mm-hmm <laughs> Oh, shoot. All right. Well, <laughs> a little bit too much, it seems. So, uh, got unlucky there. Oh, well, he'll take a little bit of damage, but it's not as big of a deal as it is with uh, um, our friend over there because they are vigorous, so that makes them very valuable in a lot of other ways. Okay, so our bard is finished. Um, says over here we need alcohol. Uh, we don't have any yet. Um, the caravan will show up next turn, though, so we can start using it then and let's see what would be the best thing to do at this point so we already have one blacksmith online um, but we certainly could use more than that let's see is there an opportunity here to to make that work four turns for everything hmm Ooh, that's a tough one. I may go ahead and do that. So, you know, just gave Eberhard some uh, <laughs> some extra levels, but uh, now we're gonna lose him. Hopefully, he doesn't get upset because, uh, as the uh, trait says here, he's eager, might want a profession of honor one day. If we make him a blacksmith, he might not like that. Uh, Frieder, on the other hand, expects a profession of honor, so you get a big bonus to your levels. But if you put him in uh, a different profession, he's gonna get pretty upset. So you you gotta. Uh, take, that in, take that into account. It's not a requirement, uh, but you do want to be mindful of it. So uh, we have a couple guys, so we don't need to worry about it too much. We have some flexibility. Okay, so get back to that again. All right, so this situation is a little bit tough. So the bandits are in our way there. Uh, I don't like that at all. I think I'm going to start heading back the way we came. So you can see uh, he's taking a little bit of damage here. Health is at 90%, morale 66. Uh, so you lose a lot of morale, which cuts down your, your power quite a bit. So our base power is 1, 
we're down to 0 0.6 and that's mainly because we've lost a bunch of morale next turn that should recover and then it'll our power will recover as well uh, but that damage is pretty much permanent uh, you can heal it by spending oil and cloth but it's very very expensive okay so the caravan has arrived now I think the first order of business here is to get some alcohol that we can start using uh, because that will allow our bard to get working. Fortunately we don't have any money but we can sell all of our coal off. So now we have some to work with. Let's see. We should buy at least three alcohol I think because that way uh, we have three more turns on our blacksmith uh, and then we can start on the winemaker to turn honey into, you know, so it's, it's a giant web. Uh, so we want cloth. I think we trained, you know, the beekeepers. The big cost of the beekeepers is that 10 cloth. That is just really expensive. So we might be able to pull that off. Oops. So 10 would cost 40. Hmm. Can we pull that off? Let's see. So we'll buy all the cloth we can now. Uh, we have a fair amount of timber over here. We could try to sell off some of our timber. So we need... Let's see. It costs 28. So we need 28. Whew. Can't even quite get there with that. You know, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do that anyways. So we need three more. Should be able to get that from somewhere. Sell off more weapons. <laughs> Iron. Could always sell off that parchment that we bought earlier. <laughs> you know, I think I might do it. Oh, it, 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 it stings. It stings. Uh, but don't want to we're gonna need to buy some weapons here anyways so I don't want to end up in that situation so all right just barely got it got the 10 cloth that we need um, it's always possible that the next caravan that shows up doesn't have any cloth and then that would really suck because that uh, would basically end that uh, particular opportunity because uh, our our apiary is gonna de degrade here before too long and we want to maximize what we get out of it. Uh, the only problem, of course, is that uh, we're going to need somebody in agriculture. So, eh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we just finished archers. Uh, the question is kind of what we want to do next here. Uh, let's see, so it might be time for us to start thinking about uh, going up to the second tier of professions. So we have blacksmiths already Toolsmiths uh, produce a lot more tools uh, from a lot more iron, so it saves you that clan. You can use that second blacksmith for something else instead, uh, which is certainly nice, but uh, 15 turns to, uh, to study that, so that's a pretty big deal. Uh, let's see. What would be the best way to go about that? I think that we have a good amount of food already, so... Um, maybe Huntsman, Spearman. Yeah, this is the uh, the part of the game where things slow down. I apologize. <laughs> maybe maybe ale makers. You know, I think I'm gonna do it because we have that vast field of barley here, and that if we can get that online, produce alcohol from that, we're gonna be in in a really good spot. So. Uh, let's go ahead and get the ball rolling on that. 15 turns is a long time, but it'll probably be worth it. Okay, so now we can start uh, producing more clans here uh, more, more quickly because we got that additional fame. You can see at the bottom of this tooltip, uh, we're now getting plus 5 per turn, whereas before we were only getting plus 1, so a pretty big increase there. Okay, so our wood collector is done here. Now... We're going to need somebody else to train as a farmer. Okay, so alert, alert, just showed up. And, hmm, 
you know, it's not in agriculture yet, but that's probably okay. Winemaker. And then uh, you should be an archer. Okay. All right. So we can probably have him continue collecting wood for us. Probably just send him right here. Okay, so we're, uh, I think we've just about finished hunting these horses. It's just, yeah, one turn left. It's not very much. Uh, we can send our hunter up here to that herd of deer instead, though, so they can, they can continue working. All right, our scout here. Uh, just probably send him through the forest, head back home. And I think that's it for this one. Food situation is getting slightly dicey here. Uh, but we still have that supply of honey over over here. Okay, so we, we figured that one out. Man, everybody's just dancing. I should call this like dance dance barbarians or something. <laughs> Again the uh, the artists are gonna are gonna hit me they ever watch this. This might be the last video I ever make, guys. Okay. Alright, how we doing? Alright, that was the last of that herd of horses. So, go ahead and have them move up this direction, I think. Yeah. Oops, that's the wrong direction. So you can kind of see, uh, you can see tentative paths here. Now it doesn't have the number of turns it'll take yet. Uh, we'll be adding that, but it's still, it's kind of nice to see that because a lot of times you'll, you'll know, okay, well, I had uh, somebody that was moving somewhere uh, in, in, you know, these games like Civ, but you won't remember exactly what. So seeing that, uh, that f faint path along the way is a good way to remember who's doing what. Uh, speaking of which, I think we can send our scout Oh, okay, so it uh, it's assuming uh, so that the, the game, if you haven't seen a tile yet, kind of uh, just assumes it's going to be passable. I don't think this is. I think it's probably going to be a solid mountain range all the way across. Uh, so I'm not going to follow that path. I'm going to kind of come around the other direction here, and uh, we'll send him on on a path as well. Okay, rebuilding our. Our timber supply here. So we have we have a lot of guys that are like scattered around doing random miscellaneous things. So we got this wood collector here. Uh, we have a hunter that's coming up this way. Uh, so at some point we'll probably want to consolidate those guys and get them working on something a little bit more efficient uh, because there's uh, what you, what you have your clans working on is really important. Okay, so we're running out of honey here, unfortunately. And our, uh, or a beekeeper. Yeah, that's not what we wanted here. This is not winemaker. This is beekeeper. beekeeper. That probably makes sense with, uh, oops, our bard, so we we'll have to tell our bard to stop working. Uh, we don't have any alcohol anyways, but, uh, you can see up here, 14 out of 14, we're at our limit. We need to spend cloth to fix that. Uh, <laughs> Need a lot of everything. I haven't I haven't played this game terribly well. In case you uh, were wondering or noticing that, um, but trying to trying to go you know, decently speedy here and not uh, take too much time with everything I do. Play as I normally would. Okay, so our surveyor is done. We found some more iron. That's always nice. Go ahead and start on that plant. Might be something interesting. Okay, it's not blacksmith, Clint, Hill brand. Bad at agriculture. All right, well, you will definitely not be a beekeeper or a winemaker, unfortunately. Alert! So this is where that uh, that parchment would have been handy because we could have shaved a turn off, uh, off of our beekeeper here, um, which would be nice because that's going to be an extra, what, you know, beekeeper does... 
uh, plus four honey. So that would be an extra four honey we would have. Um, you know, isn't the end of the world, but you always want to be as efficient as you can. Uh, speaking of which, we are out of alcohol. We need cloth to raise our uh, clan support limit. So we're kind of behind the eight ball a little bit here. Ugh. Okay. So I'm not sure there's anything new that we need to do this turn. We're still at our clan limit. Everybody's still kind of working away here. How many turns do we have left on this? 11 turns of timber are left. Uh, and then maybe we can build a, a mine here to get, uh, or a quarry to start getting this stone. Cause that, that will come in handy. We can, we can uh, do a few things with that. You can build advanced structures out of it in the late game. We're not quite there yet. Uh, you can use the stone to train like bread makers, for example. Uh, you can turn the stone into stone blocks, uh, and then that can be a big bonus that way. You can also train like uh, coal makers here. Uh, with the same with stone blocks. Um, in our situation, we'll probably just sell it, same as we're doing with the coal, just because, uh, uh, you know, we need alcohol, we need oil, we need more tools, we need weapons. We don't have a single military unit. We don't have a warrior yet at all. <laughs> so if somebody, if, if Attila just decides that uh, he wants us to go away, that this could be the uh, end of the game very quickly. I guess we do have our hunter here. Our hunter is uh, technically a warrior. They can fight, uh, but one power. It's not going to cut it when uh, when things get dicey. Right. Keep moving. Right. Love seeing all these numbers pop up. Reminds me that I'm actually accomplishing something. Okay. Send our scout up this way. Okay, yeah, so now that we can see the uh, hinted mountains here, we have confirmed that there was no passage through there. So that is uh, made a good decision there. So there's some more bandits here, some bandits here, and then um, a lot of trees and the mountain range uh, in between us. We're kind of exposed a little bit on this side, but, uh, you know, this is a pretty secure location in terms of just risk to bandits. Uh, other players a little bit more risky, but uh, we can hopefully deal with them. The bandits can just appear out of nowhere and uh, be very annoying. Maybe a good opportunity to talk about how much I uh, like our maps here and at the gates. So you can see this this mountain range, and there's a nice dense forest next to it, and cool coastline, and kind of a you know dry area. Uh, this is something I talked about in some of our uh, updates. Uh, way back, you know, a year or so ago, maybe a couple years now, uh, talking about the weather system, the climate. Uh, we're really actually trying to model how climate and weather works in the real world. Uh, so when you have uh, the you have the windward side of the mountains here, where the currents are coming in from the water, uh, they're warm and moist. They make this area nice and pleasant. Then they hit the mountains, uh, and then they stop. And then on the other side, you have the leeward side, where there's just, you know, dry desert. So you can you can see that in a lot of places in the United States, in South America, uh, parts of Europe. Um, you know, it's it's pretty much how climate works. Like I said, so we wanted to simulate that, and this is a this is a really cool map to demonstrate that. So it's got some interesting geography here. I think, uh, you know, probably. In my biased opinion, the, the the coolest geography in any uh, 4x game, but uh, that's ultimately for you guys to decide. So I hope uh, some of the work that we put in under the hood uh, pays off for you and uh, makes the game more fun because that's all that really counts in the end. All right, onward. Okay, so another caravan finally showed up, and we can sell our coal because it's kind of where we're at. Cloth. Hey, look at that. Caravan has 10 additional cloth for sale. Well, that's handy. I uh, wish it were a little bit cheaper. Okay, so we need 5 cloth to increase this. So we should do that for sure. Uh, we have a good timber reserve again because uh, we have that logging camp up in addition to the wood collector. So we're, we're just rolling. We're rolling with timber. Uh, and we can get some additional cloth. We need 
two more. And then we'll have the five we need. Excellent. So we can spend that right away. Boom! 20. All right. So unfortunately, our bard is still offline because we don't have any alcohol to keep them uh, <laughs> occupied, I guess. Uh, probably saw off some more timber here. So alcohol. Um, and we're probably at least four more turns away from getting our own supply of alcohol online. So we should probably get a fair bit of that. Let's see. Can we sell all our timber? Is there anything we're building in the near future? I don't think so. I, th I think I'm just going to sell all the timber here as well. A lot of times uh, you'll be using that timber for other things. Like if uh, that stone deposit was next door, then we would have built a quarry on it already, and we wouldn't need 30 timber for that. Um, but we don't, so we won't worry about it. Okay, so five alcohol. That will allow us to get our bard working again. Excellent. And you can see here, two turns until the next clan. That is very handy. Hopefully, they will be in agriculture. Okay, alert as beekeepers. And then we probably also need some weapons. Do we have enough money to pull that off, or are we just... are we exhausted? I think that's probably about it. Yeah. Okay. So we have a good amount of tools now, but weapons will have to wait. Hopefully, it doesn't cost us. Okay, you've identified field barley. More barley. Look at that. Okay. So our surveyor is done looking at everything over here. Uh, we can go up that way if we want to die. So instead we'll go over to this mineral instead. And I don't think our scout is going to find anything. Ugh. Oh boy. More bandits near our iron mine too. Okay. And our, our soon to be awesome source of barley. Oh, and more. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe we should get the ball rolling on the weapons. Okay, our wood collector here. Uh, I think I might send him even further down this way just because I uh, can reach that this turn and get started again next turn. Okay. Scores up to 48. Yes, we're winning. Okay, early July. All right, finally got our beekeepers up. <laughs> our apiary is almost degraded. So uh, the way the game used to work is uh, once once a structure degraded, that was it. Just ran out, uh, which was a little bit too punishing, a little bit too finicky. Uh, so now it uh, degrades and then its output gets cut in half, uh, which still kind of stings, but at least it's not, okay, you know, you, you need to line everything up exactly to the turn for everything that you do because um, that's what the old system rewarded, and we don't want it to be too, too finicky. Uh, you still have to pay pretty close attention to how the turns and the numbers line up, but uh, that just kind of put things even over the top. All right, you can start foraging. We'll still you to forge safely. It shouldn't matter at the moment. All right, I think all ram is just about done. Yeah, I think I'm going to send him back home now. Hopefully he doesn't uh, get caught by those bandits. Maybe uh, maybe the Frankish scout uh, from Clovis here will shield us a little bit from the bandits because they they have two they have two here now as you can see by the number two uh, so he's they always like to defend their camp um, sometimes they'll they'll leave it undefended if there's a nice juicy target but with two the they have forces to spare to kind of come after us and uh, you know make our day unpleasant so we will hopefully not endure that fate. And now we have some new options here for what we would like to do. Uh, getting that winemaker up probably makes sense. Yeah, we need some more agriculture here. Yeah, that probably makes sense. Now let's see, we have eight turns on the ale maker. 
Maybe we should just hold off for that. Maybe, maybe a farmer on that makes more sense. Okay, oh, all we got left is Hillbrand. Eight turns, because brown thumb, gross. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. So I think I need to update this the screen. So it says one turn for all these, because we already have, you know, we have a beekeeper already. So of course, training the beekeeper as a beekeeper would only take one turn. Duh. Uh, so not quite sure what to do with that. Maybe uh, maybe it only looks at uh, clans you have that aren't trained yet, like Freeder and Hillbrand here would be good examples. And I don't know, something I gotta think about. All right. Maybe, maybe I will hold off for one turn. That might make sense because uh, we get a new clan next turn, so that will um, give us some more options, hopefully, so we'll Skip our turn. Let's see. Maybe we can pack up. We can move. Mm, no, probably doesn't make sense. If we move anywhere, we're gonna lose something. So yeah, we'll just we'll skip this turn. It's the first one we've skipped so far, and um, I think that's probably good for uh, part four here. And we will be back soon in part five. Thank you.